What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shields Wi-Fi battle. Before anybody mentions it, yes, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I got a haircut. It's about time I get a haircut. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like it. Anyways, so we are against David, who's bringing a really intimidating team to pseudo... Well, Salamence isn't really a pseudo-legendary, although I consider it a pseudo-legendary. He got the Salamence, he got the Swamper, he got a High Dragon, a Reuniclus, which I have not seen in quite a long time. He has a Nine Tails, and he has an Aegis Lash, so really cool team. Right off the bat, I see multiple weaknesses to, well, number one, Bug, within the High Dragon and the Reuniclus. He has a Grass weakness there, um, a Steel weakness. It seems pretty well balanced, to be honest, for it, having, for it to have two Dragon-type Pokemon. Heavily weak to fairy though, that is for sure. It's, we are not packing a fairy type Pokemon. What are you gonna start with? I'm gonna assume you are starting with nine tails. And if that is the case, I have a bullet punch Pangoro waiting for you. So we're gonna start with Pangoro as always. We are not running, unfortunately, the parting shot on Pangoro. So we can't necessarily go in Pangoro, parting shot out of there in case I read incorrectly, but we're gonna try to stick with it. David, you look pretty good. You're looking pretty good. <sighs> Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Comment down below on MVP boat, most valuable Pokemon. Reuniclus the Tower Muster comes out, and that's actually really good for us. That is really good for us, given that we are a dark type. Potential switch-ins. Um, but honestly, I want to go Drain Punch right off the bat because it's a Reuniclus. But part of me tells me to just hit crunch and wait it out. Part of me tells me crunch and wait it out a little bit. And I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, I really want to read the dragon coming out. But this is exactly why I didn't read it right off the bat. Reuniclus lives. Goes for a T-Wave. That's perfectly fine. Does Reuniclus get a Regenerator? I don't recall if it gets a Regenerator. I got a feeling it does, and I really wish that I one hit KO'd it. Not that um, being waved matters a whole lot, because I'm already slow at that. Recover. If I am able to break through paralysis, this Reuniclus is going down, for sure. For sure. Crunch. Okay, so I do break through it. So no hacks early in the game, thank goodness. I'm at least glad about that. Reuniclus goes down, which is typically a wall. I wouldn't stay in against a high, uh, against a Pangoro, that's for sure. Not when I'm using Reuniclus. So, Aegislash comes out next. And, um... I honestly still want to hit it with the Crunch. Still. Swords Dance, that is a little bit scary. It is a little bit scary. So, I'm going to hit it with the Crunch, and then I'm going to read the Fighting Sight attack. That's what we're going to do. That is what we are going to do. We don't even need to do that. Pangoro just says, you know what, Aegislash? Let me just crunch on your shield a little bit and uh, make you cry back to your trainer. You should not have gone Swords Dance. I'm a choice band of Pangoro. Honestly, I would have gone High Dragon to start things off. All right, Salamence, the living legend. Wow, that is beautiful. I am afraid of the flying type attack. Part of me wants to go into Corsola, but... How much do I need Pangoro? A little bit. I still need it. So because of that, I really want to switch out. Um, Pinurchin. Is Pinurchin valuable? Yes and no. Oh, I think we're going to go Pinurchin here. We're going to set up the Toxic Spikes. I know he has two Levitators. Well, one technically with the High Dragon and then the Salamence being immune to it. But I think we, we I think we good. Electric Surge. We've got the Terrain Extender. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. All right, Living Legend goes Dragon Dance, which is a little bit scary, given that it's at plus one, plus one. And I just let this thing set up on me like that. That's that's concerning. I'm gonna go Rising Voltage here, no matter what. And we're just gonna try to try to say bye-bye to the Salamence. I am hoping, I am hoping that the Salamence switches. I know I said I was gonna go Toxic Spikes. Two Dragon Dances? Man, that is gutsy. That is highly gutsy. Trying to sweep my team and just just like that. All right, Rising Voltage isn't necessarily going to knock it out, unfortunately. I know Pin Urchin is going to go down. I really wish I had a Focus Sasher, though. Earthquake, that's fine. Because next turn, 
next turn i really want to go into the corsola and just strength sap this thing it has moxie we, it's over it's done this is a salamat sweep i already know that i know it's a salamat sweep and i am highly scared right now I am so scared. I am so scared. Just making sure I'm recording. I'm gonna will wisp here. I think we absolutely have to. Just to slow this thing down a little bit. I think that's the right play. I hope it's the right play. I don't think I can take an attack from Salamence. I don't think I can take an attack. Earthquake again. Uh, we're taking an attack from Salamence. Woo! Woo! Will o wisp hits. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Salamence was getting a little bit scary there. It's still a little bit scary, given that it's still at a really high attack stat, but it's not as threatening as it once was. So, hopefully, hopefully you go Dragon Dance. Gotta, gotta adjust my chair after scooting back a little bit, you know? Okay. This music <laughs> makes the Salamence more intimidating to me. And then we still have High Dragon to worry about in the back. That is scary. That's crazy. Dragon Rush, miss? Nope, it's Stab. It's gonna knock me out, isn't it? It's not knocking us out. You know what? Nobody can stand up to Corsola. That's the bottom line. Nobody can stand up to my, my, my... Are you a boy? You're a girl. No one can stand up to my girl Corsola. That's that's the bottom line. Okay. I think Nightshade is proper here. We're gonna go Nightshade here. If High Dragon comes out, then High Dragon comes out. I cannot believe I slowed this Salamats down. I cannot believe I slowed this LMS down. <laughs> With Corsola out of all things, this team is highly intimidating, yet we're out here. We're out here knocking a Salamence out with your girl Corsola. Penurchin also did some damage there, so that is pretty cool. That is really cool. Too bad, the this is three games already where the Electric Surge does not necessarily come into play with the Blastoise, unfortunately. All right, High Dragon the Veteran comes out. Obviously not staying into a Dark Pulse with this thing. Because of that, we're going to go Pangoro. If you want to hit me with the Dark Pulse, I resist that heavily. I just hope this thing doesn't go with the, go out with the nasty plot. Dark Pulse, okay. I read correctly. No way we're staying in there with Corsola. You dreaming, my boy. I'm going to Drain Punch here. This team is actually kind of underrated. I think it's a really good team. Dragon Pulse, I should be able to take this at least. Take one of them. Yup, we're taking it. Drain Punch, knock this thing out. Pangoro. I love you. I love this Pokemon all of a sudden. I've never used a Pangoro. Maybe Pangoro is MVP, most valuable Pokemon. MVP. Hashtag MVP for Pangoro in the comment section down below. If you guys think Pangoro is the MVP. Who is this? Wampert? Do I flip the, do I fear the flip turn? Uh, yes, I do. Do I have to switch out here? Mm, not really. I want Pangoro to get the W though. So we're gonna go Corsola. We're gonna Will-O-Wisp. And then we're gonna go back into Pangoro and just start hitting things. That's the plan. I think it's a good plan. Okay, Corsola comes out. Power up punch does nothing. Huh, you wish, my boy. I'm gonna will wisp you. And then we're gonna call it a game. We might have time for a second Wi Fi battle. Yes, we will, sir. That is great. This is great. I'm so proud of Pangoro. I'm so proud of you. You're Dynamaxing now. Now, my boy, I respect that play. I respect that play. But you know what? Maybe I might go into Blastoise next turn, Gigantamax, and just hit you with the Cannonade, and it's gonna be GG. Swampert, Dynamaxed, perfectly fine. I really don't, I don't mind that. Max Geyser, this is just gonna power up my Blastoise. This is gonna power up Blastoise. It does nothing. Yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely going Blastoise next turn. So I'm gonna Will Wisp you, Strength Sap you, and then I'm going Blastoise. That's I think that's GG. That's the game. Giant oh, seeing Swamper like this is dope. I wish we saw a giant gig, or giant um, Mega Blastoise or not Blastoise. Um, 
Swamper. I really miss Mega Evolution. I know some of you guys hate it on Mega Evolution, but I really miss it so much. And I think it would be so balanced if you cannot have either Dynamax, or Z Crystal, or Mega Evolution. Not a combination of any of them. Just like one, you, you get one in your team and that's it. He rage quit. The Swamper can't get me. On to the next one. We are back with another opponent. His team looks scary. I haven't seen a Dragonite since Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I haven't seen a Moltres ever. I haven't seen a Heat Rant since Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. We see a lot of uh, Aegis Slash. Buzzwool is a Pokemon I've never been against. And I haven't seen a Landorus in a while either. So really, really, really cool team that my opponent has here. We're going to start Corsola for this one. Mostly because we can Will-O-Wisp anything on his team. Uh, so if he starts Landorus, I'm going to Will-O-Wisp that right off the bat. If he starts, obviously I can't necessarily Will-O-Wisp the Moltres or the Heat Rand, but I can Will-O-Wisp the Aegislash. Not that I'm going to stay in against Aegislash because that's just absolutely absurd. But I think we good. I think we good. Alex, your lead card, not bad. I think mine's a little bit better though. No, not on anything cocky or on a cocky level, but it just is. We are off against King Alex, who's sending out Boslier. Oh. I don't know if I should stay in Corsola. I do not know if I should stay in here. I don't think it's a good idea. But I'm gonna do it anyways and hope for the best. Go for a go for a sword stance, please. Yeah, that's not that's not good. That's not good. It's a leftover substitute Aegis Slash. And we we're gonna we're gonna lose here. I I have a really bad feeling about this Aegis Slash. I'm gonna go Bangoro no matter what. And we're gonna hit this thing with a crunch. I'm pretty sure I outspeed. I'm I'm re I'm really certain that we outspeed. Swords down, right? Toxic! Woo! That caught me off guard for sure. I respect your play, Aegis Slash. I do. But you know what? You're going down. I really wish I had Scrappy Pangoro right now. But I got Iron Fist. I got Iron Fist and I'm not running Elemental Punches or anything like that. Crunch it is. King Shield. Oh my goodness gracious. This guy is re... Well, it's not like I could have gotten something else. Crunch protects itself. Oh, Pangoro is taking some... It's taking a beating. It's going to take a beating against this thing. Oh no. I have a really bad feeling about this. I have a really bad feeling about this battle. I should have just started with Pangoro. Like we have this whole time. Pangoro, please. Please do something about this. Substitute again. He's probably going to King, uh, King Shield here this next turn. He probably thought I was going to outspeed. And I understand that. But he's going to keep going. He outspeeds me. So he's going to keep going into the substitutes. That means that I'm better off switching into something else. Because Pancoro is, is not going to cut the job here. It's, it's just going to go down. And I do... I, I don't necessarily need Pangoro, but I do I do want him because of Bullet Punch. I'm going to go Crunch here. I'm, I'm just going to stay in, and this thing's going to... Uh, oh, no. I knew it. I had a feeling he was gonna King Shield, but at the same time, I had a feeling he was gonna substitute. It's like, it doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna let Pangoro go down and we're gonna re-strategize. I think that's a solid plan. I was not expecting a utility support Aegis Slash here. So that's uh, that's something for sure. That is really something. I'm, I'm gonna go Crunch here. I, it's not like I have a choice since I'm banded. And hopefully it knocks the substitute out. Yes, okay. All right. Yeah. I'm I I I don't think uh I don't think it's a slash is doing anything to us. I'm I feel like wasting a king shield or a substitute. I'm just going to crunch. I'm going to like Pangoro go down, re-strategize. If you go substitute, you go substitute, I'll break it. King shield again. That's a good that's a good play. That's the play you should have done. That was the right play. Oh man. Pangoro was doing so good this last battle, and I just let Pangoro down here. Against an Aegislash. 
against an Aegislash. slash oh my goodness i'm gonna go down and i think now the next play is gonna go into pincer pincer earthquake pincer earthquake oh i feel so bad for you pangoro i'm so sorry so so sorry um it's not like i can really do much with you pincer dragology pincer 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 is my next fastest pokemon i need to make sure i preserve this thing pincer comes out and i'm not running earthquake on this thing Oh, I am running Earthquake on this thing. Thank goodness. I was a little concerned there. I outspeed, unless you go for the King's Shield. I hope you read this, though, and go into Landorus, because next turn I'm going to go into Corsola and just willow Wisp you. Earthquake, I outspeed, so you're not doing that. You're not doing that. Are you going to go Toxic? What are you going to do? Toxic, I knew it. Okay, I'm not predicting any... I'm, I'm predicting King's Shield next. I'm not predicting any substitutes. So this next turn, I'm going to take the opportunity to go into Blastoise, and I'm just gonna hard read. I'm gonna hard read. Um, I wonder how much speed investment this thing has. Because it outspent on Pangoro. It outspent Pangoro, that means, so let's see what your speed is, Pan. 78, nope, you're not outspeeding. You're outspeeding for sure, so are you. Nothing else, oh, that's not good. Okay, Blast Wizard is. I really hope this thing doesn't go substitute because if it goes substitute, I am going to lose it. All right, Blastoise, please go into King Shield. Yes, I read that like a champ. And hopefully, hopefully we can knock this thing out. Should I predict substitute? I kind of do, but at the same time, I just want to go Hydro Pump. I'm going to go Hydro Pump here. Go into something, go into something. Okay, nope, right, you're just going to take it like a champ. Don't have any special defense investment. It has special defense investment. Oh my good. Yes! That was the Clutch's move in all of Clutch. So, Substitute's next, I assume. I'm just... Oh, well, should I Shell Smash or I Hydro Pump? I do not want to miss one. That's for sure. His team is highly weak to my Blastoise, for the most part. Except for, of course, Terrain Pulse. I think we go... I think we Dynamax and go for the Cannonade. I don't think that's the move. I, I'm going to bank on hitting Hydro Pump again. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now this thing is gone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means our Cannonade's uh, PP are, is going down. This Age Slash was so hard to take down for no reason. What's the next switch in? I believe Buzzwool is the next switch in. Either Buzzwool or Dragonite. Landorus. What? Are you scarfed? Are you gonna U-turn? I got a feeling you're gonna U-turn. I got a really good feeling you're gonna U-turn. Oh, you blasted my white herb. That is messed. That is so messed. Um, Blastoise is my answer to this thing, obviously. So I'm gonna go Corsola here. In case this thing wants to hit me with an Earthquake, if you go U-turn, you go U-turn. I resist the U-turn, but Earthquake? I'm a little concerned about Earthquake. All right, here comes the Corsola. I should be able to take an Earthquake. Yes, at least I think. Unless you're banded, I'm taking that. Okay, thank you. Um, Strength Zap is the play. Strength Zap is always the play against this Lando. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. <laughs> Though it's not looking very good for me. All right, Withdraw Glanderous, who are you going to? I out to one, negative one, he ran. Okay, I see you. I see you. I'm not going into any of that shenanigan, though. I'm going to go Strength Zap. I kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. I know this thing is special, specially oriented, but I really want to go into a curse here. I'm going to go curse. That way we can try to whittle this thing down just a little bit. That's the plan. That's the plan. And then what do I want to do next, though? Toxic again. Is his whole team running toxic? Oh, no. This isn't looking good for us. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have to go curse. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Corsola is no more. Corsola is no more. I really want to, I want to strength sap again. At least try to get me, try to try, at least try to let, let Corsola live a little bit, you know? That's why we're going strength sap. If obviously this thing, it has the potential to knock us out. So I, I honestly, I don't know what to do. Heat ran out speeds a lot of my Pokemon. Um, if 
Corsola gets knocked out. What do I want to do? Oh, Stealth Rock. My team's not prepared for the rocks. My team is not prepared for the rocks. Strength Sap, here we go. Corsola, nice and healthy. As healthy as it can be because it's poisons. Heavily poisoned, too. So, oh, that does not do enough. That doesn't bring enough for us. Okay, we're going to switch out here. We have no choice but to switch out here. If you want to switch out, go ahead. Uh, I really cannot let Corsola go down as much as I want to. As much as I want to. Because Corsola is the answer to Buzzwool. And, of course, the other Pokemon. Um, I'm going to go... Uh, Dragology. Dragology. Blastoise. Pinsir. Um... I think I'm going to go Dragalge and then hit a Hydro Pump. Uh, for the most part, Hydro Pump does good. If this thing is running the um, other attack, the, the ground type move, then I'm a little bit in trouble. But other than that, I'm okay for the most part. Lava Plume, I resist. I should be able to take this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What am I going to hit you with? I'm going to hit you with the hardest Hydro Pump I got, my boy. Maybe I shouldn't. I should. I should. Don't predict. Don't try not to play the predicting game. Just hit the just just hit the hydro pump and call it a day for this thing. Because if Land Race comes in, then it's good. Earth power. Don't knock me out, please. Yes, Dragology's putting in a little bit of work. Dragology's not putting any work. Come on, Dragology. You were doing so good in the last video. And then this one, you blew it. You blew it in this one. How could you do that to us? Okay. At least, at least there's that. If you want to knock me out, you're going to get knocked out also. There's going to be a double knockout. Thanks to Corsola. At least I think. I think. Dragazi goes down after missing a hydro pump. Well deserved. Oh, you might live. You're living. Oh, that's upsetting. A little bit upsetting. Just a tiny bit. You know, not too much. <laughs> That's been my luck, ladies and gentlemen. That's been my luck. Your opponent's weak. Get him, Pinsir! Get him! Of course, we're taking a lot of damage because of the Stealth Rock. And, um... Close combat it is. No, Stone Edge. We're hitting the Stone Edge because we like living dangerously. Boom, and this thing goes down. And the reason I had Stone Edge is because if Moltres wants to go down or come out, it's going to get hit with it. If um, Landorus comes out, it's going to bring me at neutral, so minus one or neutral, just neutral attack. Um, but if Dragonite wants to come out, it's going to get hit with this, uh, with the Stone Edge. I am afraid of multi scale. There is that. Bumsteed, who is this? Bumsteed the Buzz. This is where Corsola comes out, isn't it? I think it is. I think this is where Corsola comes out. I think this is where Corsola comes out. Come on, Cors. Please don't get smacked with the knockoff or something. Please. Hit me with the... My man, you are buff. My man, you are buff. I respect your buffness. This thing has extreme high attack. This is the only thing I'm really worried about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to live an attack from this thing and go strength sap if I outspeed somehow by miracle. I'm going to be I'm going to be so thankful. Look, it's just flexing on me. You're bulking up without bulking up. Wow, how is that? How? This is still a pretty even battle. Except I'm at a disadvantage cuz two of my Pokémon have the um the stats. Moltres comes out. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Because Strength Sap, I know, isn't going to do a whole, whole lot of health to me. Um, or isn't going to give me a whole lot of health. But we, we get to live another... We get to fight another down, as they say in football. So... Oh, we get to fight an, uh, for another down. Okay, so... You come out. I'm going to go into Print Urchin here. I'm going to go up in Urchin. And then... Um, is it worth poisoning some here? I mean, you got... It's not worth. It isn't worth. So I'm going to switch into Print Urchin here. Set up the voltage for me for myself. Corsola is uh, Corsola is unhealthy right now, like toxically unhealthy, because of all the pollution going around, and it's somehow putting in some work. This is a good battle. 
This is a really good battle. I'm against a, a team that has a lot of legendaries. So you got you got to give me props for fighting this hard. Okay, here comes the Penurchin. Of course, I cannot do anything to it, so. All right, Penurchin, please live this attack. I know we're gonna get smacked, but please live this attack. I beg you. I beg you so much. Flamethrower. I really wish I had the water set up, the rain. Okay, um, you outspeed us, we're going down. I basically sacked my um, my little uh, pin urchin here. Scorching sands, that's, a, that, that's a gonna hurt. Obviously that's gonna hurt. Wow, <laughs> I'm scared right now in case you couldn't tell. Okay, we're gonna go pincer, we're gonna hit the um, stone edge because that's, that's the right play. That is the ve that's the best play I have. I'm scarfed, and um, it's not like I can't do much or can do much against this team with Pinsir. So, withdraw Moltres all you want. Bumstead comes out, going to get hit hard. At least I think hard um, with the Stone Edge. Boom! Huh. That's not doing anything. Wow, that's a bulky Bumstead. I think my best bet against this Bumstead is to whittle it down with Corsola. Um, so I think we let Pinsir go down. I think we have to let Pinsir go down. And it's going to come down to Blastoise. That's the bottom line. I just have to, have to, have to, have to try to knock this thing out. I don't know how, but I'm going to try to bulk up. Please hit me. Oh, no. I messed this up for myself, didn't I? I messed this up. Please knock me out. It's not going to knock me out. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I'm going to hit it with another Stone Edge. I mean, it's it's, it's like this. this. Oh, my goodness. This thing doesn't got really reliable recovery, so. I'm in trouble. This thing's going to smack Corsola back. It already has extremely high attack. And I'm, I should be able to live for one more turn, unfortunately. And I'm saying unfortunately because I don't want Pinsir in here anymore. And that's why I messed this up. I messed this up so bad. I messed this up so bad for myself. It's not even funny. Stone Edge hit. It misses again. Oh, th this thing has recovery. I lied. Without intentionally lying. Oh, no. I'm in so much trouble. I think Corsola has to come in and try to win this for us somehow. Go for the Will-O-Wisp. This team was fighting as best as it could. It's not going to be able to stand and, uh, stand up to this team, unfortunately. All right, here comes Corsola again. And we got to try to burn this thing. We have to try to burn this thing. I hope we're faster. I really do. I don't think we're faster, though. Bulk up. That's That helps me, my man. That helps me because I'm going to I'm gonna burn you here. And I'm going to go for the Strength Zap next turn. What's with my luck? That mattered a lot. We lost because of that. That is such a bummer. That is such a bummer. Three minutes until the battle ends. I need to, I need to drink a water after that. I need to sign him acting. That's an insult to injury. We lost. We lost so hard because of that will o -Wisp. That will o -Wisp missed matter so hard. I... Did we? So, I think we missed two Stone Edges in a row and a Will O Wisp. Max Hellstorm, we're getting knocked out. We're getting knocked out. Blown back. What? Can we actually hit this time, though, please? Like, seriously, we need a break. Okay, thank you, Corsola. I appreciate that. Okay, we're, we still lost. I got a feeling we still lost. This is going to be Dynamax number two for him. Or Dynamax turn number two. And um, we're going down. We're going down two minutes until the battle ends. Oh, Blastoise is going to get blown back. I really needed that. I really needed that for Blastoise. Mostly because of the um, Moltres. Well, Moltres, I got the... Mostly because of the, um, what's it called? Dragon Knight. We have to Dynamax here. And we got to Max Strike it. 
Blastoise is not going to hit hard enough to sweep his team. Unfortunately. That's the sad truth. That's the sad truth. We went down fighting. And that's all I care about. We're not going down without a fight. And that's why we're Dynamaxing. This thing is still really, really bulky, so we're not living a single attack that this thing throws at us. Max Strike. Oh, no! Did I go Max? <laughs> oh, my. I met Max Guard. We. Oh, I can't believe we just did that to ourselves. Uh, at least we're living, you know? Because now this gives... I can't believe I went for that, man. I'm, I meant to go max guard and I don't know why I went ahead and hit the max uh, uh, the max strike That's unbelievable Hey, we went down fighting and blastoise is not getting knocked out The reason I'm going protect um, or max guard is because I really don't I cannot afford to let blastoise go down That's why Buffed and buffed and come on, please give me one more turn. Please give me one more turn. I know I lost, but still, I want to knock this thing out. It's not. It's not going to let us. These animations are taking way too long. At least Blastoise, my ace Pokemon in this team, is still standing high. We're going to cannonade here. Just because. I know it's not going to show the animation. It's going to say I lost, but I, it, I, it doesn't matter. I lost to Alex, who's bringing a really cool team. I really like this team. I really liked his team, and it was a really good battle. I'm not salty. <laughs> I'm taking your lead card because that was awesome. But Alex, thank you so much for that Wi-Fi battle. Make sure that you guys, yes, you watching this, leave a like if you enjoyed that Wi-Fi battle. I know my team was highly outclassed because you got the bus wall and all, all the buzz wall and all those other Pokemon. But make sure you leave a like, comment down below on your vote for MVP for battle number one and battle number two. Lastly, subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.